What's going on, YouTube? I'm Scotch. And I'm Smith. And we're Scotch and Smith. Ooh, and a silent roll. You like that? <laughs> Today, we have an uncorking Ooh. for you guys on a bottle that, I don't know why we're doing this. We can't even get this in America. Well, well, no, I'm, I'm pointing at them and saying you can't get it in America, but you might be able to because we got it in America. Yeah, we, and well, we're we, ordered, not, yeah, and we, we ordered from the UK, but it's from mainland China. Hey, people, yes, it is from mainland China. So this um, is the second bottle in, okay, uh, before we even get into talking about this bottle and showing the Chinese words on the back, Glenfiddich was going to start a new line of stuff, last we heard. We don't know how valid it still is now, but a bottle like this makes me wonder. So the Grand Cru looks just like this. Same. The 21 Grand Reserva, mm -hmm. which is the rum cast one, I think was also supposed to move to this bottle design and style. And then this got released in mainland China. It is the Grand Cortez 22. So it's 22 years old. Finish in Paulo Cortado casks. Paulo Cortado. And then they called it the Grand Cortez. It's very beautiful. It comes in the exact same box as the Grand Cru box, just in red. It comes in this exact same bottle, except clear instead of black. And it's, I really think if they're going to build on this Grand line, I wonder if they're not just doing it for Asian market and we just happen to hear about it, hmm. or if they're actually going to do this in America. Because if this, if this bottle really is just for mainland China only, I talked to the um, Southeast Asia brand ambassador for Glenfiddich. And he said he can't even get his hands on this. He has tried a sample, but that's huh. it. But he said it really is just like mainland China. And I was like, wait, then why does um, the Whiskey World have it for sale on their site? Because I had an alert, and then I had to spend a lot of money, and we got it shipped here <laughs> in three days. It was amazing. But so it's here. That's the story of it. That's what's going on with it. We want to crack it so that we can talk about it. But we, I don't know how many reviews of this will actually be out there because, I mean, at least on American YouTube, because it's just not... Yeah, an American thing. I mean, it's similar to the, uh, <laughs> what, what's the year on the Burns Headwood? Oh, Burns Headwood, the 19th? That is coming to America. It is coming it's to coming America? It's coming this year. So, so <laughs> I was able to purchase that on, an, uh, on a UK website as well. Um, so you can find bottles that haven't come to America, aren't coming to America, or are coming later in a later release to America sometimes. And, and you sometimes. pay up a little bit of a premium you, for that. Yes. Maybe, because <laughs> since I don't know what the MSRP is going to be for coming over They're retail. They're 300 here. 300? Yeah. So... I mean, if you don't count shipping, it probably was a little cheaper in YouTube. Yeah, like tw like twenty bucks cheaper. Oh, that's not. I mean, man, but shipping was. The worst. Um, so yeah, yeah, this was four hundred shipped, which was uncomfortable. But if you guys saw our video on how to buy bottles that cost between one and three, four, five hundred dollars, you know that this could be total regret, or it could be great. So we're gonna find out. So we try to make reviews like this for you guys, so we can get an idea of whether or not it's good or not, and then we can pass it on to you guys to save you the monies. So let's go ahead and crack this. Let's do it. I'm, I'm excited about this one. I'm first. excited too. I'm big, excited for any new whiskey. Big Glenfiddich fan. First time on YouTube's being released. Oh, it's like that time we did. Ooh. Oh, the little gold inlay. That's nice. <laughs> a little gold inlay. It does look classy. Classy is the word. So the whole bottle is more streamlined. I liked when they came out with the Grand Cru. It really looked, it kind of made it more fancy. I think that's what they're shooting for though. The Grand Cru, they wanted you to replace champagne for special occasions with a nice whiskey for special occasions. And this is just, you know, Asian balling. Dang, it smells. It smells good. Oh. I'm not glue glue in mine. Oh, pour, like the a... color is beautiful. Yeah, the color is almost like a reddish. You can see it through the bottle. No, no, don't. But that nose, <clears throat> it's sweet. Oh, that's crazy sweet right off the bat. Crazy sweet. But they say the Asian market actually likes much sweeter whiskeys. I mean, I'm Asian and I like sweeter whiskeys. I'm half Asian. I, wait, we're both half Asian. Ah, we like... well, the two of us combined, we make one full Asian. <laughs> There's one Korean guy and one black guy in this review. <laughs> It smells good. It does smell really good. You can smell the, there's like- um, I'm still getting apple and pear though, which is really nice, because that's like Glenfiddich. It's very Glenfiddich. But there's like richness. I can smell uh, rich spices. Oh, it's tons of spicy on the nose. And the best part is like, it's not alcohol spicy. This is like actual, probably sherry spice. It, I mean, yeah. I am really I getting a ton of pear. I'm loving this. This, I mean, it smells like Glenfiddich Kicked up a notch. Apple and pear, yeah, that's, um, and also quince. That's what I'm getting. I'm getting quince, boiled down quince with the spices that come along with like quince paste. Uh-oh. That's that Paulo Cortado twist right there. 
Oh, my mouth is watering. Let me go in on this. Um, I don't know how to explain this. This is the first whiskey of the day, so I should probably go by my second sip and not my first. But you get this bready roundness right in the middle. And almost like, I'm almost getting peach. Like, there's there's fruit sugar coming across that it's just like, that is just... Rich was such a good word mm. to use because it is rich. It's it's not velvety, but it is viscous. I, I didn't know what to expect, but... I, I think because the 21 Grand Reserva is supposed to be rum cast finish, but it's so thin, I expected this almost to be thinner, but this is actually very, very full bodied for a whiskey. This is, this is nice. Yeah. The, I'm, so I'm getting, I, I'm getting a rich spice cake. There is sweetness there and there's the bready characteristic, but it's more of a, um, not, not, I guess what you would think of a traditional spice cake, more like a chiffon, like a, a dense chiffon. So like a, kind of a spongy with with uh, heavy um, mm, heavy nutmeg spices but you're right about the nutmeg like peach orange marmalade peach. like this thing is killing me it's pretty good it's it's, it's, good. it's very good there, there is a little bit of a um, alcohol kind of note that goes over just, the entire just a touch, thing yeah. it's a little it feels it, a little hot it's not as uh, what is this at? 44.3. 44.3. That's warm for 44.3. Yeah. But it, but it's... Yeah, it's good. I think it adds a nice um, characteristic to the spice. It kind of gives this like... Punch. Mm, don't forget, yeah. you know? <laughs> don't forget this is alcohol, which is a poison in the human body, but that's a whole different issue. The nose is is really... Um, the nose really goes well with the palate. Yes, and I think it's perfect. a lot of times it there is a disconnect. You could say it pairs perfectly. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Get out! Um, <laughs> yeah, the pear and the apple is is. I mean, it, it, it's classic Linford. Yeah, absolutely, super classic. It's very, it's very good. For I'm, I'm, but I'm the the thing the, I'm thinking, at the price point though. If <laughs> at the price point, it's. Uh, I think if this was two hundred, yeah, two fifty. I, I was literally I'd about to say. I was literally about to say maybe even three, like two fifty <laughs> to three, and this is like boom, probably spot on, like all day. Because even the Grand Crew, the Grand Crew is three hundred. Was it three fifty? No, it was three hundred, right? Uh, it. I wouldn't like the. I think it, it was two ninety nine. The Grand Crew to me was underwhelming, especially at that price. The Grand Crew to me, with the fizziness that I got from mm. the fermentation cast, <clears throat> even if it was just it was like new. mentally fizzy, it was definitely new. It was, it was different new. to me, worth the three hundred because it was different mm. because it added something that no other whiskey has ever done before like that. Worth it to me. If it, it was two hundred bucks, I probably would have bought two. This right here is this, not only just good, but it's something. I mean, I've had Paulo Cortado whiskeys before, and they didn't taste like this. No. So <laughs> Glenfiddich was able to bring their characteristic pear apple flavor with like, you know, sometimes they have spices in the in the back end, and they're more fruit. I guess fruit forward. We can use those yeah, wine terminology. Yeah, they're much more fruit forward. Um, they did that. They did a really great pairing with the the, the cask. It makes me want to get some Paulo Cortado sherry and just. Give that a try. Yeah. See how it. Like, this is something that Glenfiddich doesn't normally do. So like when we had, like we've had Glenfiddich age just in cherry casks, and it was absolutely phenomenal. So tasting this and actually getting some of that spice balanced in with classic Glenfiddich character, and then it coming up with this whole bready peach thing in the middle. This is delicious. Yeah, this is my first whiskey of the day as well, and I don't know if it's if it's because it's the first whiskey, but it does really taste balanced. It yeah, is it's really hit, it's hitting uh, real nice. Really good. <laughs> So yeah, bottle's awesome. Uh, it is a 700 mil, 770 CL if you're from the UK, and it does have a whole lot of stuff on here that I can't understand because it's you know, Chinese. I don't know if it's Mandarin or Cantonese, you can't tell. Mm. I don't know the difference because we're Korean. That's right. All right, yeah, no. Represent. Wow, that's super good. So uh, if you got to try this before, or if you get a chance to try it, absolutely. If you're at a bar and you're like, man, I want to try something literally along the lines of the flavors that we just went through and described, grab yourself a, a glass of this, because it's... I wonder how it's gonna sit, though, because things. I'm getting a little bit of astringency now. Oh, that's... you think the alcohol will kick up? I think the alcohol will evaporate off and actually it'll get a little more rich. Mm. Like yeah. over time, you talk about the oxidation? Yeah. Yeah, even, I mean, yeah, I think it'll get even better, even richer. 
You're very good. Like, yourself. way to show up, Glenn Pitt. So yeah, if you're in China, go get this bottle. What are you doing, China? Literally get up and go get this bottle. Or if in the UK, and you can go to the World UK of Whiskeys, and or wherever you go to, you Yeah, the Whiskey World, and you can <clears throat> pop on their website, go grab this. Yeah. Because one, if they don't do this again, it's gonna be a sad panda for all of us. So, what? it's good. Mm. It's good. That's it. I don't know. This, this feels like the, uh, that thing that happens. Well, you like, comment, and subscribe. That's it, that's the one. The thing at the end where you do the, you, you, yeah. yeah.